guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. And taking a look at the box, you can see right in front of you here, we are looking at a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy set today, and it is this toy set here. It is the Quest for the Indominus Rex. And taking a look at the box right off the bat, it looks pretty darn cool. And I will say that without question, this is a great deal because if you order this online at walmart.com, you can get this for $40, and that is an incredible deal because you uh, are getting a Mosasaur, which I believe was around $30 to start with, so you only have $10 to make up, and then you also get the submarine with a mercenary figure, and you get an Indominus Rex skeleton, which in my opinion is the highlight of this pack, as if you've been collecting any of these figures from the start, you probably already have the Mosasaur. And if you don't, then either way, this is a great deal. But regardless, I'm super excited for the Indominus Rex skeleton, and I have not opened this yet, so I'll be viewing it for the first time here with you guys. Taking a look at the back of the box, you can see everything that is included here. It is also letting you know that this Indominus Rex skeleton is an exclusive to this set. So if you want that Rex skeleton, you have to buy this set. It will not be released any other way. It also gives you uh, some little pictures of some minifigures and other things down here at the bottom. But either way, I think the box looks very cool. Not quite as cool as those old Kenner boxes, but still pretty darn nice. And I will say the box is huge. It is absolutely gigantic. So let's go ahead and crack her open and see what's inside. So I will say that right off the bat, that box was a gigantic pain in the butt to open. But the contents that we do have inside the box are, of course, the Mosasaurus. But we have reviewed him on the channel before, so I'm not going to review this guy. Today, he is literally the exact same Mosasaur that we've reviewed previously. I kind of was hoping that maybe there'd be something different, maybe some kind of a variant to him. But it is not. It is still just the same Mosasaur. So if you would like to see the review of the Mosasaur, I will throw a link in the description taking you straight to my review of this particular toy. Then there is the submarine, and I personally am not really a huge fan of vehicles and things of that nature when it comes to any of the Jurassic Park or World toy lines. I do like them, but it's not something that I personally go out and just search for and crave or any of the vehicles. So normally I probably wouldn't even have purchased one of the vehicles, but this thing is actually quite cool. Taking a look at it, and one plus to this is it actually has lights. There's a little button right here on the top that you push, and there you go. So it does light up inside, which is really quite an awesome addition to this toy, especially if you are going to kind of replay the scene in Fallen Kingdom where they are searching for the Indominus Rex skeleton at the bottom of the Mosasaur Lagoon and uh, you would just like to really add that little bit of realism to the way the scene looks you've got that light there so that will definitely help you in that instance otherwise it's got lots of mobility with the toy there are all sorts of mechanisms and things here to play with you've got air tanks and all kinds of things back here they actually push through all the way right here on both sides it's both the same deal here's the other one again this actually does open up as you can see you can open the top completely and there's our little mercenary guy in there the inside looks quite cool he's still actually strapped in I haven't unstrapped him but I don't really see a point in unstrapping him as I'm not going to play with him so I might as well just leave him in there and then taking a look at the back you can see again these here they do move in and out you can take them all the way out if you would like they do come all the way out you just slide them back in there but regardless a very very cool toy you've got the Jurassic World logo right here on the side which I always love to see and I do believe that this does actually look exactly as it looked in the Fallen Kingdom film so this is a very very cool toy a very cool addition something that your children are definitely going to love if you purchase this set and then the highlight of the show for me is the Indominus Rex skeleton and you can see it right here in front of you it is really, really cool, and it is actually quite large. You can see my hand right here by it. It's definitely a very big skeleton. I haven't actually purchased the Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton that the Jurassic World toy line does have out quite yet. I'll probably get to it very soon, but I'm pretty sure that this would size up quite nicely and quite correctly 
to that other skeleton of the dinosaurs from Jurassic World. Unfortunately, the skeleton doesn't seem like it stands too well, but again, I am in a pretty off-level area, so maybe it'll stand better if I actually put it on a table or something that's much more level than where I'm reviewing this. I don't know, but either way, aside from its slight balancing issues, the overall sculpt and detail of this is really, really cool. It really looks beautiful for being something that's just meant for children. It's a very, very cool collector's item. Everywhere you look, the actual detail of the skeleton looks fantastic, in my opinion. It's something that would, I would just like to display in its own right. It's things like this that really show how far above and beyond Mattel is going with this toy line. It is super, super cool to see. So, as far as the appearance of this IREX skeleton, it is really, really quite cool. Now, as far as the mobility of the skeleton, you can see that the jaw is articulated. It can open and close, and it does so very nicely. The head is on a swivel, so you can completely turn the head however you would like. It can also go up or down, so the options of mobility with the head are really, really cool. You can move the neck, and I, I'm going to say right off the bat that a lot of the joints are actually very stiff, as I have not messed with this at all until right now. So, I'm sure once you move them a little bit, they'll probably become a little less stiff, but you can see the head does go up and down at the neck joint there. There are joints here where the arms connect to the body, but like I was mentioning, it's pretty stiff both sides. They definitely do move, but it'll take a, a little bit of working to actually get them to move quite well. And then, of course, you have a joint up here at the hip, right here, that can make the leg move forward and back. You have a joint in the knee, again, very, very stiff, but it's there. It just take a little bit of persuasion to get it to move. And then you have a joint down here, right above the foot, to also get it to move forward and back on both sides, both legs. And then the tail also moves up and down and can swivel as well. You can actually hear that the, the joints as I move the hip here, they click into place to make them a little more stable. You can also move it right here as well where it connects to the hip area. Got him in a little bit of a tripod pose here just temporarily so that he balances out. But again, very, very cool. I really, really dig the Indominus Rex skeleton. I think that it is awesome looking and it has so much mobility and different ways to pose it so it has a good bit of posability that I think that this thing is very very cool. This entire set is awesome and it is one heck of a bargain. For $40 you are getting this gigantic Indominus Rex skeleton, you are also getting a submarine and a human character and the Mosasaurus. So that is without question an incredible incredible deal. As far as the size goes it's a little hard to do it because he's pretty big. But if you go and stretch the tail all the way out and then go from the tail to the head, you are looking at about 21 and a half inches long, maybe a little tiny bit longer, and about 54 and a half centimeters. So definitely very, very long. As far as a height goes, that's really up to you and how you pose him. Because as you can see here, he can be down on all fours or he can be posed up high. So that really is up to the person posing the dinosaur. For a size comparison, here is the Papo T-Rex, as always, and you can see that this Indominus Rex absolutely dwarfs the crap out of it. It is huge compared to Mr. Papo Rex, who actually doesn't look to be in such a bad mood today. And for another size comparison, here is the Anatomy T-Rex that is from the Jurassic World toy line, and you can see that if standing up, the Indominus Rex is definitely a little bit larger than the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This T-Rex actually sizes about the same size as the Extreme Chompin T-Rex, I believe. So they do match up and, and uh, definitely scale quite well together. At least in my opinion, I think they definitely do. So guys, without question, $40 is a steal for all this Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom merchandise. And there is kind of a trick to actually purchasing them, or at least there was. I don't know if it's been fixed or if it is done on purpose, but the only way you can really get this set is if you download the Walmart app 
A lot of people think for some reason that this set is actually cancelled or discontinued and just completely unavailable because uh, a lot of sellers, a lot of those rip-off artists on eBay are trying to sell them claiming that they are long cancelled sets and they just happen to get a couple of them which is completely untrue. This set is still quite readily available and it is available like I said on the Walmart app. It was very briefly available just on regularwalmart.com and then it was taken off. I don't know why but if you download the app and search for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Quest for Indominus set you will find this for $40 on the Walmart app so please whatever you do do not pay the stupid prices that people are asking for it on eBay as like I said it is still readily available at this point in time of this review I can't unfortunately really put up a link as to where you can purchase this you're just gonna have to go in the app and then search for it and then you should easily be able to find it as it is definitely on there so without question a 100% recommendation from me an absolutely awesome set from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line by Mattel so go ahead Download the app, buy it, enjoy it, love it like I do, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.